Uh, Lawrence, you were talking about uh, the president of the United States. The number one issue, according to a brand new Bloomberg morning consult poll with swing voters, the number one issue is the economy. And everybody is feeling the pinch. You know, as it turns out, uh, prices have gone down, but because of inflation, they haven't returned to where they were before the uh, pandemic. Yep. And Bloomberg actually did the math, and you're not going to like this. So if you went to the grocery store before the pandemic, let's say you filled up that cart right there, you go to the grocery store, everything's 100 bucks. If you do that today, the same groceries, and you put them, you take them to the register, look how much you're going to pay now. You're going to have to have basically an extra 20 bucks in your pocket to pay for those same groceries. Everything's going up. Even if you get a pay raise at work, it's gobbled up by inflation. Inflation is so high. Housing affordability is the worst on record. Auto loan rates have soared because of inflation and because of the interest rates. Borrowing with a credit card has never been so expensive it's all across the board uh, yesterday I, I went to the grocery store last night and I picked up a bottle of ketchup you know how much a bottle of ketchup a medium bottle of ketchup how much six dollars yeah, that's ridiculous coffee has gone up two dollars save the pound. packs when you get a uh, food yeah, in the green room but I will no, I save the little ketchup pack. I will say just, this for just, Brian just one more little detail hamburger which is a staple hamburger is approaching six dollars a pound and here's the thing and I know the White House is very concerned about the price of things. Joe Biden will not be reelected president if hamburger is $6 a pound. America cannot survive on $6 hamburger, and, period. And here's why, Steve. Play it down the pike. It's not just that hamburger. It also hurts hamburger helper. That's right. Because you need hamburger help. Who's going to buy hamburger helper if hamburger's too hard? No, also, especially Brian, thanks to... You the, need hamburger helper because that actually stretches the hamburger. That's a good point. Uh, I would also like to bring up, too, thank goodness for the Heinz people, and yes, the Carey family, uh, for making ketchup squeezable. Yeah, that's... Because you know longer have to hit the bottom or the side and that saves a lot because a lot of times you slap it right out of your hand true. because you're determined to get the rest of ketchup out of the bottom but I will say this okay. how how is it that the president of the United States uses this opportunity to get mad at people for not understanding how good the economy is and then blame MAGA Republicans and corporations, greedy corporations, for the price of things right now. Uh, well, Not the money that he's spending well, of hours to force inflation up and devaluing the it's dollar. It's the president's energy policy. And if you go to the New York Times, I just love this article. Could President Biden's clean energy push be a victim of its own success? Well, li so, listen. So they're doubling down on this. They're saying that the president, because he was so good at it, that the demand is yeah. up, because all these right. people are buying these EV cars, apparently. Uh, they're not. Except for Ford. <laughs> right. Who what, doesn't want to make him anymore. <laughs> but he's a victim of his own success, Steve. No, well, here's the thing. Peter Ducey was in the front row of the White House yesterday. And as it turns out, the reason hamburger is approaching $6 a pound, wait for it. Watch. So here's the thing. When we walked into this administration, the economy was on a tailspin. A tailspin. That is the fact. Because of the last administration, because of the Trump administration, because of how they dealt with, uh, with d dealt with COVID and the pandemic, because they didn't have a comprehensive plan. But almost three years in office, inflation is up over 17 percent since President Biden came here. And inflation, you're saying that's still Trump's fault. Inflation, law. inflation is moderating because of the actions that this per this president has taken. Doesn't because that mean that prices because, are going up slower. They're still high. Campaign message. Uh, Blame we Trump. Were, we weren't able to make things better over the last four years, even though we promised that we were. And it's all because of Donald Trump. And by the way, if you ask Larry Summers, that rescue package totally unnecessary, and it fueled inflation. Larry so Summers, Treasury Secretary for Obama. Natural gas up 29 percent. Electricity up 25 percent. Groceries up 25 percent. Restaurant food up 24 percent. And if you want to buy a used car, it's up 35 percent. The average price of a monthly car payment in America now is $736. This is for the average car. There's 20 How can the, because the, because of interest the rates. Afford that. Right, exactly. You can't. Or you don't go buy a car because you because you got to finance it and the interest rates are yep. too high. Yep. It, this is why it is the number one issue with voters and Joe Biden 
has better do right. something about it. Because, because you're hurting Hamburger Helper by hurting Hamburger. <laughs> See, no, that's I, what I get Brian, from this. I think that's actually helping Hamburger Helper sales. What, what do you mean? Because hamburger's more expensive, you're you looking need, to get other things as around you. You don't oh, need I mean, as much meat because you've got the noodles. That's a good point. That's a good and, point. Right. It's not and, just a hamburger. Right. I mean, you could have a pizza flavor hamburger. This Who is, thought? Start making that's the lasagna. engineers. Uh, the problem with the my lasagna. lasagna. <laughs> problem with my lasagna is I have to use two packets of meat because I like it really meaty. I do too, Right. You know, right. Yeah, and more sauce. More flavor to it. We all right. Know. When yeah. you were sauce. shopping with Sean, did you notice these prices so high? <laughs> yes, I did. You did, I did. Okay, but, fantastic. But that's the great thing about traveling with Sean Hannity because right. it's not a problem. He's, he's like, let's get top sirloin. I'm on, on prime on. time. I was going to pay for it, but he's right. like, I got this. And I yeah, like, okay. I got the morning show salary. You got the prime time yeah. salary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's why the waiters like to wait on him. Oh, because yeah, 100% yeah. to... I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.